Time for Verify on this Wednesday morning. A viewer emailed our Verify team after seeing this post right here on Facebook. It says that in 2021, everyone going on a cruise has to have a passport. They asked us to verify. Is this post actually true? So our Verify researchers talked with the State Department and spokesperson there, Noel Clay. He says they recommend everyone taking a cruise from the United States should take a passport, but that's just in case of an emergency, like having to be medically evacuated to a nearby country or a storm forcing your ship to an alternate port. But technically, you don't need a passport on something called a closed loop cruise. That is a cruise that begins and ends in the same port in the US. And right now that's not expected to change in 2021. But just in case, we checked with two of the major cruise lines, Carnival and Norwegian, two of the big guys, who say on their websites there are several closed looped options like cruising to Alaska, the Bahamas, the Caribbean, and Mexico, all of which they say no passport is needed. So we can go ahead and verify that this post that's popping up on your social media timelines is false. You do not need a passport to cruise in and out of the same U.S. port in 2021. Hey, as you cruise through social media, you've got to navigate through a lot of misinformation. If you got questions, there are several ways you can sail them on over to us. I'm on Facebook and Twitter. You can send me an email. You guys know the drill. You guys know how to reach out to me by now. My inbox is always popping with your questions at home. So there you have it. How do you know that here in Texas, certainly a lot of people do go on cruises because there are uh, a couple of different cruise locations start and ending points here in the Lone Star State. Yeah, it's really interesting. I've actually been on a cruise in um, I've actually been on a cruise overseas, so I needed my passport.